of Bon Turan and uh, the University of Johannesburg taking bronze medal. And that is With time, things change, and moments change into opportunities that demand everything from you. Ready or not, the moment does not change. It only grows bigger in importance and severity. Running is not about pressure or any self-absorbing effect, but about the moments given to express oneself in the most absurd form of physical activity. It is easy to do at times, but very complicated in the return. Every competitive athlete faces moments where tough choices need to be made and lessons need to be learned the hard way. It's championship time and the first of three championships start on the 28th of August with the Central Gauteng Athletics Cross Country Championships in Cajiso and a provincial team of six per event will be chosen for nationals where the South African Cross Country Kings and Queens will be crowned. With all those results, the UJ management team has to compile a final team of these results in order to choose the best team from the fastest to slowest based on the number of league meetings ran, championship position and consistency in training. The time to make a sacrifice has come. Third place is Zoe Brentano Messi in the colors of Rembrandt area. Second place is uh, Nicole van der Merve in the colors of the University of Johannesburg. And your 2021 CPA Cross Country Championship for senior women 4 kilometer event is Sean Oldno in the colors of Marianne Roberts. Well done, ladies. Nicole van der Merwe took second in the senior women's 4km race with UJ alumni Sean Ogno taking first. In the women's under 23 race, the university made it a clean sweep with Velma placing third and Tombi second and Sisanda first. In second place, also in the in the talents of the University of Johannesburg, Tombi, <laughs> and your champion in the women under 23 is uh, Sisanda, also in the colors of the University of Johannesburg. UJ making it a clean sweep, and there they go.
The men's 4km race was action-filled as 10 UJ athletes lined up for this fast race. Chris Nklanga, Onkabete Sibola and Pemelon to swept the podium for the men's under-23 race and Kosinati Sibiya finished third in the senior men's race. Starting which is Sanda Dumisa. Those two look like they've got a little bit of gap, followed by uh, Daniela Fester and 219 in the green and 472 from CG from Athletic South Team North, sorry, 471, which is Yanni Janssen van Rensburg. So it looks like we've got a bit of a group going on there, Kurt, and a win is going to come from here. It looks like they split quite nicely and working well together to close those two leaders. You are right, and let's see if we can see them coming up that cooling hill uh, before we take them. After having over 10 athletes qualifying for nationals, UG Athletics takes top spot in CGA as the best senior cross-country club. Spirits are high, but things are starting to get a bit shaky. After a long cross-country season, which was also extended, some athletes like Rachel got injured in her knee and was out for two weeks. Some are feeling some strains, fatigue and muscle tightness, but the amazing job of the medical team has got them ready. On Tuesday the 29th of September, the travelling squad is released, and with deliberation and discussions with management, coaches and athletes, some misunderstandings rise. But he never ran in the league. My dad just told me, the coach, he's not too good. Uh, Mr. Roger, we put him in the four. If he features, he features. So like he's going to And then the 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 the, 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 the following um, the really on Saturday. I will discuss that most after the. We can do that, but we just have to see how we load. Because remember, we, we can't we can only have just four guys in the tank up because then it means the fourth guy has to. It's less than more or minus, more or less. 10 days before leaving how are the spirits how how is the team looking we heard about rachel and 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 the mishap she's currently back what are we looking at and some few athletes that were added mm -hmm. before they were not actually on the team yeah um so provisional team came out yesterday um after long lengthy discussions with the coaches obviously they they know the athletes firsthand and also, we also had a look at uh, the SA Championships. I mean, our guys did exceptionally well at the CGA Championships. I think out of the whole club, there was like around about 16 representatives. I mean, under 23 age groups, the ladies, I think they took a clean sweep. And then the senior men, there was here, there, but under 23 senior um, junior men also, it's clean sweep. So in that young age category, we have a strong group. So we looked at all that stuff and considered provisional team came out, we might make I had a chat this morning to Dumisani, we might have uh, three other additional changes and then maybe one, one person more slotting in, Newo. So we might push him up to the 10k because we've got to look at spreading out the wings from the 4 to the 10 and vice versa with the ladies and female because it's not only about one race, so you can't load everybody. So you gotta, um, you got to move the strength across. Uh, Shaman is also back, Max, so he brings also good value to the team. He actually, before selection, is like he wants to do both four and ten. I said, no, no, let's focus on one. He says, either way, he wants to bring the call back. So he's in all size spirits. He was in Europe preparing. But yeah, you know, he's a strong guy. So I think him and Kamsanka is going to do well with the 10K. In the 4K, obviously, we've got Elvis and Kosinati and uh, Johannes. It's going to probably push and drive the guys. And then we're just hoping in between, yeah, the young guys also um, slot in. I, I think, I believe Pumelo is also in good shape. 
he did exceptionally well at the CJAC um, um, championships also. So with the ladies, it's also looking strong. Nicole, that was Silva at the 4K, she's going to move up to the 10. With Rachel, there was a bit of a knee niggle stuff, but she's back. She had full uh, training last week. Um, it seems that we sort of found the way to work it out and through, and it's working for in a treatment and combination of rehab and bio. So I got to thank the medical team and her. And then also, look, Lebu, I saw yesterday of a session. You know, she killed you, so <laughs> she's looking very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed, I'm, uh, and I know she's a very strong lady and very experienced. Uh, same as Tombi, we're going to move her up to the 10 um, because we've got to stabilize the ladies there. Remember, top three in the ladies' count points, top four for the men. So we got to spread it out, and then um, we'll select the relay teams when we get there. Yeah. Um, spirits are high. I mean, I had athletes and the leaders of the group, like Joanna and Lebu, chatting to me. Seniors and experienced guys saying, Hey, listen, this, the change this. So, we had discussions. Even when Gabetsi came in to play, he's gonna move up to 10. I might move Silo down, put in um, um, Neo up to 10. So, we just gotta check where we can. But provisional, it's oh, provisional with small yeah. adjustments. If we're adjusting, maybe 80%. So, let's keep it a secret. Really. When is the final one coming out? The final, final. I think um, I'm gonna do it today. Sure. The final. But it might change. Um, normally when we get to the championships on the first day, there's always a feeling that mm. what and the guys sit down and stretch lights while we're driving down. Yeah. We left team with us last meeting and then we secured the group in. So yeah, the final final, the first day, but uh, pre-final now. And obviously with the parting on Thursday mm. to Bloemfontein, hopefully at eleven o'clock. Just waiting for Johannes to hopefully finish his exam early. Unless he's gonna do a sick test, but we're gonna hope that the lecture can assist us and maybe let him write at nine. And then by 11 is done, then we can departure on route easy down there, get the guys settled in. And then, yeah, they hit the road. With it. So we, we're positive, but it's like I said, it's on the day. It's all about the execution. So from our side, we're going to support the guys and give them what we can and make them comfortable. The rest is in their hands. And yeah, but I'm confident. I'm very confident. Next on, the Orange Army, bringing it back home. Let's go, Rachel. Let's go, Rachel. Just like that, Rachel.